I'm going to show you how to start auto tracking with vMix and I'm going to take you into vMix now to do it. All right, let's jump in. So here's my vMix interface here. I've got my Move SE camera here and if you're not familiar with vMix, you may or may not know that PTZ Optics camera control is built into vMix. So I can uh, go ahead and easily control my camera directly through vMix, uh, which I'm doing now. Because I know the IP address of the camera, right? Here's the IP address. Connect to it, and boom, I'm controlling it. Uh, we can also create presets, by the way, in vMix. I promise I'm going to get to the auto tracking, but just to show this really quickly. And vMix creates these really handy little uh, images that you can just see where the camera's going, click it, and it goes there. It's wonderful. But how does the vMix, how does vMix uh, can turn auto tracking on and off? for a PTZ Optics camera. Well, what we do is we go into settings and we go into scripting. And I want to mention that I recently wrote a blog post about this. Now, did I write it? No, Matt Davis wrote this. Okay, so I'm not gonna take credit for this, but um, I did post it on WordPress, so I get a little credit. But um, just reason why I'm saying that is because you can go to our blog and get a step-by-step -step guide for this, because I'm gonna go through it a little quickly, but you guys can get a step-by-step -step guide here and I'm gonna take you through it. But essentially, when you get to the scripting area, what you can do is you can add a script. So I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete this one so I can add it back. And what you do is you hit the add button and you give the script a name. So I'm gonna call this A track on. And then you paste the script in here. This is the script that is on our blog post. So you don't have to figure this out yourself. The only variable that you need to think about is the camera's IP address, because that's how vMix knows what camera you're actually sending this to. Hit save and close. Now, there's a, a script for tracking on and a script for tracking off, okay? There they are, right there. Um, the script for tracking off is just a little different than the script for tracking on. All of that is on our blog. Once you've got these scripts, and by the way, I should mention that uh, vMix scripts... Um, are only available in the 4K and Pro editions, okay. Oh, okay. okay? It's not available in the basic HD version, just Good so we're all on the same page. When you create a script, you can also create a shortcut to control that script, okay? So I can say, all right, start this script, a track on, that's the script name, and then boom, when uh, this will turn auto tracking on. Um, so when I hit, for this one, it's when I hit the key G, auto tracking will start. And then I set up another one, when I hit the key H, auto tracking will stop. Okay. So let's see if she works. And I'm also, you know, I don't know if you know this, but in vMix, you can actually just use this little shortcut button here. And, Mike, if you zoom out for a sec, so I don't want this to get cut off, if you go to the web controller, you can literally pull up this IP address of the vMix web controller and from anywhere on your network, you can use this as well. Nice. And you could do the same on like X keys or Stream Deck or something similar. You can. And in the brand new vMix 27, which is still in beta, the web controller actually shows a uh, video preview. So nice. all of these little uh, shortcuts would have a video preview. So let me go ahead and I'm going to click this A track on button. Auto tracking just started. And it doesn't see anybody because I'm zoomed into this little thing. So it is going to, um, doesn't see anybody. So it doesn't know what to do, right? So I'll turn auto tracking off real quick. Um, but you can see it's working, but we want to see it. We want to see it actually work here. So what we're going to do, you do need to have someone in the frame, right? For it to track. So Tess, I'm going to choose you again. Get you in there. Now I'm going to uh, click the auto tracking button and it should automatically frame you in the scene and start auto tracking you. So we just turned on auto tracking with vMix. Thank you to our engineers who helped me with those scripts because it wasn't easy, obviously, but auto tracking was just turned on with vMix. Pretty cool. Now let's say we want to turn off auto tracking. Boom, stop tracking. It, it stops tracking. Now, a couple things I want to mention here. Uh, one thing is, is that in the PTZ Optics camera itself, 
uh, we have a couple a couple things set up here. There's a tracking start location. So we have track now set up. That means wherever the camera is, it will start tracking the person in that subject. But we can have it say when auto tracking is called move to preset zero or move to preset one, which is helpful in certain scenarios where maybe there's a teacher at podium the front of the classroom, or... podium. Exactly. Well, I'm going to keep it on track now because I really like that. Um, you can also do a time delay for your tracking and things of that nature. So I wanted to show that. And then one more little vMix feature before we go from vMix. Um, the other thing you can do if you really want to automate the world of vMix is you can create a trigger to turn on auto tracking. So you could say, all right, well, when I transition to this input, this is my auto tracking input, I want the tr to trigger... Um, I did this before. Why am I... Why am I f oh, yeah, here it is. I want to trigger that script. And the script is a track on. Okay. So now, when I transition to this, auto tracking will turn on. Okay. So there's different ways to do this. Um, but I'm just showing a couple different ways on how this all works. Excellent. I hope that was helpful. I just that had a, a customer demo. recently who was like, I love auto tracking, but I wish I could do it from vMix. So there you go. We can yeah, do it from vMix. We Vmix. can.